Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chidi My case you are new here. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing and hit this notification bell icon so you get notified whenever I post new video. And for my old subscribers, thank you for tuning in back. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how I made this beautiful micro two braids bob wig. And if you're interested in seeing how I made this wig, you have to stay tuned and keep watching. I'll see you guys again. So for the wig, I'm going to use this type of wig cap. You can use any wig cap you want or you have. So this is the type I want to use for this particular wig. So what I'm doing now is to make sure that my wig cap is well seated on the canvas head. Then the crochet needle I'm using is this small one I showed you guys. So this is the length of the braiding hair I'm going to use. For the back part, that's the back to the middle, I used, I cut the braiding hair into six parts. You can cut it shorter if you want yours to be shorter, but I cut mine into six parts. So this is one, how I'm braiding the wig, the hair to the wig cap, but using crochet method, yeah. So everyone, what's up? What's popping? I know it's been ages since I posted my last video and I want to apologize for keeping you guys waiting for a long time. You know, sometimes things happen that you can't control as things are beyond your control. And once again, I want to use this opportunity to thank those of you that have patronized my wig making i have been working behind camera i've been working behind this youtube thing i've been working on people's other that is why one of what is the most that's the major reason i haven't posted any video because i'm trying to find a balance between doing my business which is wig making for people and also creating content on youtube please be out with me and i promise by special grace of god i am back back and better so i hope everyone is doing well i hope you guys are all doing fine i hope you guys are keeping cool so guys I want to thank you again those that have patronized me I am very 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 grateful and I pray that God will replenish your pocket and bless you all in your endeavors yeah so you know this day you know I'm making braided wigs for customers and at the same time creating content sometimes i don't have the time to come and create most of because most of the claim hair or braided wig i'm making for my customers are the ones i've already shown you guys on this channel so if i have any new style or any new design i will still come up and show you guys how i make such the uh, style but I believe that I am back for life, back and better. So let's roll. Yeah, this is the image, the method I'm using. That is the method you use to make your braided wig, crochet method. Then you start braiding the crocheted hair. So this is what the wig is looking like so far because I have gone so far with the wig. So this was looking. I'm still using the cut seas. Once I get to the topmost part, I will start using cut five because I don't want the front part to be very short. But if you want to use the same length to make the whole wig, it's okay. It's very fine. So this is what the wig is looking like so far. Then once I get to the topmost part, I'll introduce my closure. 
yeah so this is the closure i'm going to use is a three by four closure made by me of course so i'm going to attach the closure i'm not doing um, a center part rather i'm doing a kind of a slight the last slightly center and in between center and the side so i'm going to place the closure in the play point or position um, I want it to be so this is what it looks like I'll go ahead and sew it down off camera which I've already done and I'm showing you what it looks like after showing it down now continue with the braiding first of all I'll have to cut off the part of the wig cap under the closure
say exactly the uh, how many pack of hair I use because the hair I use are uh, my leftover hair, the uh, leftover hair from the uh, hair I have done for so long, and also I will tell how long it took me to make this hair because. I was making it in between making the hair I was doing other things so I would say I would guess maybe total pack I use should not be more than one and a half pack if it's up to that amount okay Side to trim the hair one after the other and back now to show you guys how I trim the tips of the hair I use a blade you can use any blade you want I'm using razor to trim down the tips of the hair to make them in fall and also to make them have this um, look fine that's to have fine finishing or fine tips instead of being tapered if you want a tapered you can just go ahead and scissor and cut to the length you want now after the trimming this is me putting the hair dipping the hair the wig in hot water and as i dip in hot water i use my comb to comb it out to make sure everything is stretching out and again before you dip in hot water make sure you trim the tips of the hair so that once you dip in hot water you seal everything every correction you must have made yes so this is what it looks like after dipping it in hot water I'll go ahead and dry it this is what it looks like after drying it so the next step is to bob the tips a little bit for bobbing the tips, I'm going to use my flat ironing comb to bob it. Note that this method, this stage is very, very um, difficult. So you have to be very, very careful while doing this. As you can see, I'm trying to feel the hotness of the iron. Make sure the iron is not too hot. It's not even hot it should be should be between warm because if it's hot that means everything all your hard work will just end like that so always make sure because this particular iron i have is very hot if you have the ones that you can regulate the temperature to the um yes to the volume you want it fine but this my own has no regular so at all it does not have control so I always make sure i test the temperature the hotness of the iron before i use it on my hair because if it's too hot it will melt your hair please make sure you do this part appropriately because once you make any small mistake here all your effort will be in vain so after bobbing the tips it will be ready okay so guys thank you again for sticking with me to this month so this is what the wig looks like this is the final look yeah 
and this is what the pattern looks like as you can see it looks realistic though it's not my own wig if it was my own wig I could have you know 